Hello, welcome to episode 3 of our look at the fracking universe mod. Um, so there's plenty to be done. Um, I've redesigned the lab just a little bit to add a few extra things. Got some silk producing stuff down here. Um, I've, I've changed the top um, up here because frankly it was getting a bit silly. Uh, God damn it, the sand is still building up again. And I've completed a few minor quests um, because I don't want this turning into another quest fest. Um, but we've got a load of stuff to do and we're going to try and concentrate on seeds and farming and all that sort of stuff. So we will set off with a few quests just to like get going. The first one, getting into plastics, requires us to do what we started to do last time. And we get some oil and then we make some advanced plastic. So just do this the 30 30 way. See where that is. I think it might be in here. There it is. What do we need for this? Oil, we've got plenty of that. Space Age Polymer is quite simple to make. And we've got some silk as well. That's why I got, did all those moth traps. So we can make some of this. Um, let's make all of it. Ah, there we go. Learn to craft wall storage. Um, plus steel girder, plus steel wall, and 17 more. You've opened up a whole new branch of research. Oh, crap. And it also said something about planting bracken trees. Huh. I think bracken trees is what helps make silk. I've got loads of traps. But... If we're going to make... I think we should actually start them. Um, we should start the farm. Um, I'm going to make it underground. Because overground is just as sandy as fuck. <laughs> All right, so this is going to be um, where our farm is. I might take out the background. I might not. Who what's this? Is this coal? I think it might be a bit of coal. Good. We will need to do a bit of mining. And th In fact, hang on. I've got a bloody mining tool. Which actually seems a lot shittier than... Oh, hang on. There we go. No, I think I'm actually going to use my... Um, Ultra powered uh, matter, ex my normal um, extract thing, whatever the hell you call it, matter manipulator, and because that is so upgraded. Oh no! <laughs> I'm, I'm breaking everything. Yeah. Okay, this will take a bit of time, so hang on. So I've cleared a bit of space. I mean, this is going to be kind of like a greenhouse, which we can extend as we want um, over to the right, and because this is underground over here, which was already dug out. So that's all convenient for us. So I'm going to put glass in the background to make it a proper ass greenhouse. I can just about do that. Um, and also we'll bring this down here for now. No enemies spawning around here, so we we think we're getting away with that. So I'll put in the glass, and we'll have to put in this is not very big, and we're going to have to make this a lot bigger at some point. But for now, this will do. Quickly build in this. Very dark these days. Oh bloody lack of light and yeah. <laughs> Right, okay, so then we can put in some... I don't think... I'm not sure how much dirt I've actually got. Oh, I've got loads of dirt. Huh, that's convenient. Right, so we can put in... Oh, that's not what I want. Hang on. I wanted to put in that. And that. I'm not sure what this room's going to be. I might just extend the greenhouse. Huh. And um, we can put in a layer of dirt all along the bottom. There we go. And when they look, that'll be good for farming when we can actually get on with that. So, let's leave that for now. Grab some of the water. It's got loads of it. And I'm going to stick it into my... <laughs> it's also got the Fracking Universe guide in it. So where's the water? There it is. I'm just going to stick all the water in there. Uh, excellent stuff. So, did I actually make that advanced plastic in the end? I think I did, didn't I? Yeah, so that's all good. Um, do I have to, to complete the quest? I might actually have to go back to the outpost. Which we'll do shortly. Uh, fertile ground. Can we do that? Uh, we need fertilizer from here. Get all furtive. There it is. It needs ammonium sulfate, sodium, sulfur, and methanol. And um, I did have a look and write this all down beforehand um, to see what actually you needed for this sort of stuff. Um, sodium is easy enough. Um, you, you extract that from water. Um, sulfur, I think you have to dig for, and methanol you get from wood, um, extracting from wood. So we can start doing that. I don't know where to get ammonium sulfate from, though. Um, I don't think I've written that. Have I written that down anywhere? <laughs> uh, I don't think I have. Um, oh, actually, yes, I have. It's um, for mas mascagnate, and you put it through a furnace. So we can we can technically do all of this stuff, but maybe not necessarily now, because we'll have to do a bit of a dig down. Um, sodium. Oh, from water. Okay, let's do, do a bit of extracting. See if we've only got any water at the moment. Not very much. Although, you can use ice if you've got any ice, apparently. That goes, that turns into water, but I don't think I've actually got enough. No. Yes, I've got some stuff. 
Um, but yes, for now, actually, we'll need some maskinite and some sulfur. Um, we also there's other other quests we've got at the moment. We can make an armory, but I don't think we've got everything we need. I think I think you need to get a circuit board and a lot of other stuff for that. Um, we we'll do the cultural quest, and which will require us to go and get some seeds. Um, same with this, because we need to make some DNA samples. And there's also some tailoring stuff, which I think I've already done, so I just need to go to the outpost for that. So, we'll first go to the outpost. Um, science outpost. There it is. God damn it. Uh, and then we'll do a bit of digging, and we'll get some more materials, and then we can make some fertilizer. And we can actually start doing our seeds and stuff like that. Right, so who's questing today? I bet we end up just picking up five times more quests than we had before. Oh, so that is the tailoring quest complete. Um, so, we'll just goodie bag. Uh, I suspect inventory space is going to become a pre at a premium soon. Tech card, don't need that. Uh, we better pick up this quest, whatever it is. Um, I need a particularly dangerous chemical known as something. Yeah, but that seems like a more advanced thing, so we'll just add that to the list for later. Now we need to look around the outpost for other people who can... There was, there's, a, there's a quest finished. There's the plastic quest, the getting into plastic quest. Oh, you've got something else. Clothing fabricator and produce a m muted visc helm. Hmm. Well, that might be a more, slightly more advanced thing, so we'll leave that for now. Anything else? I don't think that's... A, I think that's all the quests we can complete. Yes. Right, so let's go... Let's go off to a nice planet to do some... Let's try a new planet, because we'll go to the one I'm orbiting at the moment, which is in a nearby star system to where we were before. It's this planet right here, and it's a it's a it's a moderate threat planet, but it's a hang on, this is not the right one. Oh yes, here we are, it's in a different system. A primeval forest, and which has got lots of organic resources. So I'm hoping to find a lot of seeds. I have a feeling seeds are going to be incredibly important that we can turn it into DNA samples and stuff like that. So cool, let's beam down to a, a brand new biome. What's gonna be like? Oh it's very green. Very green. Uh, and it's also very dark, inevitably. Oh! <laughs> uh, ah! Right. Alright. So it's a Florin dungeon. We don't really want to be taking that on. Right. Let's see what there is on the ground. If we can just... There we go. Let's heal up a bit. Plant plant matter. Oh, that's just plant matter. Mossy rock. Flower block. Uh, let's get a torch on. Oh, huh. And now we've found a bloody glitch fortress. Uh, this is, for once, this is the sort of thing that we don't actually want to happen. We actually just want to undo. Oh, God. Oh, no. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Hang on. I think I might. Oh, dear. <laughs> Poor horsey. God, this is so dark in this mod. Let's just poke our way through the walls. Now, if we're doing a build series, this would have been perfect. But no. Oh my god. Straight after the glitch dungeon, there's this. It's another bloody ape place. This is this place is crawling. Oh actually this is this might be some a good time to get some extra bonus storage. Oh, it doesn't let me. It's just, oh it's one of these things. I think this is actually a prop a proper dungeon. Yeah. We don't really want to be taking this on. This is this is bloody silly. It's just, this is not what I, exp what I was hoping for. Was, we need seeds and things. What's that? Bio sample. Learn to craft. Oh, got mushroom. Learn to craft a lot of stuff, including a mushroom blade. Oh, this is turning out to be quite the organic place. Ah! <laughs> Look at these little creatures. Oh, maybe these are new. Oh, there's a big one. Big one. Big one. Yeah. Bye. What the hell is this tree? This looks like a new tree. Looks like it's got apricots on it or something. And it's a. Oh, it is. Oh, it's a peach. Achievement unlocked. Starbound Valley. <laughs> All right. That's, I think that's quite a new ach achievement. Uh, relatively new, anyway. Not for the not for the mod. And this, this place is crawling with them um, stuff. And they're, they're having a right good living there. Yeah. This I don't know why, but this this place just seems to be heaving with these things. Um, these dungeony type things or villages and stuff. Not quite sure why. Also, there's a bit of a sl slightly awkward biome thing there. Well, let's try and do a d bit of a dig down. Well, that was a good idea. <laughs> I've already reached the bloody... Yeah. I've already reached that bloody base thing. 
Well, this is not going to provide us with a huge amount of excitement um, in terms of collecting things, unless I just keep on digging down, because it re really could do with all that that material stuff that we were talking about. Oh god, that's right. We're still actually... Oh no. No, I can't actually get any further that way. Hang on. Right, there we go. There are some minerals that I could usefully get, I guess. Death Blossom Mushroom. Blimey, I'm finding all sorts of weird stuff here in the dark. I really could do with them. Hang on, in fact, what I'll do, if I right-click, hopefully that should... Oh dear. Oh dear. It might be too... Oh my god! No, it's... It, I think it's night time, so the, the light isn't really helping. God damn it. Oh, Magnesite! Oh, no, it's Magnesite. Oh, Diamond! Huh. Oh, this is good. This is useful stuff. Right, so I'll carry on digging for a bit, and then I'll report back. Right, I've been finding pretty much everything that I wanted to underground. And loads of stuff. It's totally filled up my inventory. But we've got some of the mask ignite ore. We've got quite a bit of sulphur. Um, not, none of these in huge amounts. But those will be good for the fertiliser. we we'll eventually get around to doing that. And also, whilst I'm here, I'm actually going to take a few of these things. But pretty much just... Oh, it's a server cabinet. I'm not quite sure if that's actually going to be of any use. Anything in these. It's always actually good to get... Oh god. Always good, good to get a bit of storage. Oh, also a, ooh, an upgrade module. Oh, that's actually quite good. It's quite a useful thing to have. Plus, let's get a shitty vent. A bunk vent. Uh, also, some lights, because we desperately need lights. Don't we? Because <laughs> at the moment, it's a bit uh, lacking in that. Um, in our lab. In fact, if, if I really wanted to spend a lot of time, I'd, I'd take all this um, backdrop as well. Um, let's get back up to the surface. We still need to go and find some seeds, though. Didn't really find any on the surface. I think this this planet might be a bit of a bust because it's just all bloody uh, fortresses and things. So, is there anything nearby that we can go to? Lush. Well, that's a nice lush planet and another lush planet. Um, yeah. Well, those aren't really new ones, are they? So let's try. Let's actually try and go back to this one I was looking at earlier. Snow. Hmm. A bog. <laughs> There's a bog biome. Algae. Well, I reckon... Let's try this. It's slightly riskier, but not too bad. I think my sword will be able to take it. Right, so just before we do beam down to the planet, I've just popped back via teleporter, and I'm going to empty out basically all this stuff. Pretty much everything. Get rid of it all. Because we're not going to be doing anything with this whilst we're on that planet. And we I just want to empty out my bloody inventory. Just so I've got some space. Oh god, I've got all this stuff as well. I don't need to worry about that. I still have many seeds. I've got a bit of a bit, a bit of stuff to eat, but no actual seeds. Right, so let's get down onto this planet. This is a bog. Let's see how risky this place actually is. Uh, oh shit! Ah, <laughs> mates, what the hell is this? Ah, uh, I don't know what he is, but he's quite tough. Um, oh, there we go. So these things are cool. I just picked one up as soon as I beam down, and it's some um, blister, blister pods, and that's just unlocked um, how to craft a few things. I can hear geese. Sorry, <laughs> I actually could. I could hear Canada geese. What the hell is this? What on earth is this? And what's the button? Uh, hang on. What's the button? What's the, is it? Uh, what's the button to? Oh, I can't remember the button. Oh, that's the one. N. Well, that's rather large. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. Can I actually get get it? Apparently not. Right. God, there's loads of stuff. Look, more kinds of trees. Uh, I've just picked up tea nuts. Oh, look, it's all getting weird. What is this material, anyway? Swamp dirt. Learn to craft spare po Oh, it's algae! Learn to craft a lot of things. Biofuel and organic research are two direct benefits to harvesting large amounts of algae. It can make all the difference to travel. Oh, biofuel and everything like that. And there's yet another village. Oh, my dicks. What the fuck? Ow. Ow. Mate. It's Tonk you. Tonk you. He's actually really tough. Jesus. Um, all right, where's my healing stuff? I don't think I've actually got any. I've got, there you say, I've got, I've got some pissy, pissy salve, as I think it's officially called. It's not over. You've gone to bed. Um, hmm, well, all right. <laughs> Fine. Oh, damn it. I, I could have, hmm. 
Maybe got some seeds. I don't know. Actually, let's go. Yes, let's go down here. Everything's light down here for some reason. Oh, careful. <laughs> that was a bit tricky. A bioluminescent spore. Wow, this is all... Oh, it's tongy baddies. Oh, what the hell? I'm getting poisoned. Why am I poisoned? Um, I must have stood on something rather nasty. Oh, look, there's spores over there. Bad spores. Am I still getting hurt? I don't know. I'm getting out of here. Something's not right. <laughs> Ow. Still got the... What is it? It is actually a, the poisoned effect. But it doesn't seem to be too bad. I think I might heal up here for a while. And we're back. <laughs> Alright. So I've, um, I've taken the opportunity to craft some bandages. I've also looked through my inventory and I've discovered this death blossom mushroom. Toss this hideous thing and enjoy the mayhem. So I'm kind of intrigued as to what this does. Um, so let's... Oh! Look at that! Okay! Uh, I've poisoned the hell out of everything. I have actually um, crafted some poison antidote, so let's take that and indeed party. So let's try and actually get our way through here without hurting ourselves. Hello, Florence. Didn't expect that, did you? Oh god, where are you go? I actually just picked up some badges from him. Uh, flare and an iron hunting spear. And the, that mist effect, that poison cloud effect is now gone. Huh. That must be a new a new thing for this game, a new weapon. I'm just harvesting all these blister stuff. Can I actually get any seeds or anything? Maybe actually I'm, I'm getting seeds from here. I'm getting reeds, but not seeds. Blister pods. Oh, that's a seed. That is actually a seed. So we'll be able to grow lots of blister pods, which is... um. Exciting. <laughs> Let's chop down this, see what this is. I'm getting wet, am I? Oh, that's just, yeah. Blue glow log. All right, proto shale. That seems to be just a basic ass bit of landscape. Pixel oh my god, it's a turd monster. What? Oh, it's, oh cause it's a bog monster. A pro I've just picked up, what is it? Protosite. Now I can do protosite bars. Um, it's unique to proto worlds. It's rich in energy and capable of being hardened into stuff. And then it kind of like disappeared, so I couldn't actually read it. What? Okay, get rid of you. What is this stuff? What? No, it's, this is cells. But I picked up a what? <laughs> a what? Wow, this place is weird. God, I'm getting so much weird new stuff. This is going to be useful. All of it's going to be useful. Is that algae? Yeah, that is algae. Oh, bloody hell. This landscape's quite strange. And what's that in all? This is well, this is all that proto shale. Oh, drop uh, uh, the toilet, toilets, poo. <laughs> God, this really is a bog planet. Also a bioluminescent biome. Huh. Oh God. Oh th yeah, there's they're just turds everywhere. It's it's the planet of the turds. Um, I fear it. I fear it mightily. I don't think we're we're going to get anything else from this planet. At least it's not just like one dungeon after another, this place. Because that was very peculiar in that other planet. Never seen a planet like that. Wow, look at this place. This is so weird. A toxic. Toxic pus. Oh, lads. I'm in toxic pus. Oh, this planet. This goddamn planet. God, it's so weird. I'm just, I'm literally just running and fighting at the moment. Oh god, some slight confession. I must have been in admin mode because I was um I was um time warping, so we didn't have to use the night time. So I, I'll I'll take that off before we continue. <laughs> right back at the lab. Uh, I'm starting to regret building this on a boring old desert planet instead of one of the new ones. Uh, but never mind. Um, oh god, look at the sand. So I've got loads of seeds. So in theory, let's go to the extractor. Oh, there's an actual um, baddie here. Huh. Right, where are those blisters? Here we go, let's try... That's, I think I missed it. Which one is it? That one. Let's see what happens. It's producing genetic material. Oh, I think we've already learned how to craft this. Ah. So it's not quite what I wanted. So genetic material. So we need to mail... Was it a DNA sample? No, it's the bio lab, isn't it? <laughs> I was just going to say. DNA sample. There it is. And so for this we need... Oh, we actually did need the genetic material, but it's the tissue culture. Um, tissue culture, I believe, I'm from reading that book, the, the books, that you actually get that from plants, seeds, and produce. So if not seeds, uh, maybe the plants that we picked up, um, the blister sack, 
Let's try that. Tissue culture! Yes! I'm glad I wrote that down, because I went through the book, um, the, the, the in-game codex book, and wrote down a few things to, to help myself, like nutrient paste you extract from soil, tissue cultures you extract from plants, seeds and produce, raw materials, as we've learnt, um, you extract from stone and ore, and genetic matter is from meat and some plants. I've completed the quest. Sand, silicon... Uh, yeah, well, we can do that already, actually. Um, hang on, let's have do that. In fact, we'll just leave that going. Sand and silicon. Yeah, we've already. I think I've actually already, already discovered this. So let's let's do that to produce some silicon, and we can tick off another quest. Um, sandstone. Let's put that in. Go with that. What's that producing? Phosphorus. That's not what I wanted. Maybe sandstone must be different. Oh, there's some more. Sandstone is not sand. Sand. There we go. And silicon. Yes. Right, we'll leave that going for a while, because I'll need plenty of that. I think as soon as I pick this up, um, the quest will be complete. Even though I've actually done this before. But, there, there we go. Um, now it's time you created a biochem lab and started learning about the wonders of chemistry. Well, we've all, again, we've already done that. Hello. Uh, so, wh where the hell am I with the quests now? Uh, huh. Um, try making some DNA samples in the biochem lab. That's, th that's what we're trying to do. So... DNA samples. Oh, we can actually do it now. Yep, good. Because I've got um, the genetic material and the tissue culture. Um, let's do as many as we can. Rewards. Learn to craft a load of stuff. Um, glass and DNA sample. You, you're going to need tons of DNA samples if you intend on doing a serious amount of genetic research. Next up, mineral samples. Make some in a... Uh, okay, that's straightforward. I've already got that. Um, I think I should have already done these ones. So in theory... Hang on. I may not even have to do this. Um, actually, I, I will, because I think I, I, I haven't actually got any in stock at the moment. This case, I think it's just a case of me bunging through some... Let's get rid of that. Some stone. I think you need quite a lot. So this might not be enough. What's that? That's wet dirt. I don't want that. No, it's not enough. Clay, maybe? Nutrient paste. Nope. Mud. No, I'm going to have to go and get some... Hang on, what's this? Would we find gritstone? That might be worth something. And there we go. That's what I wanted. I think. Actually, am I doing this quest right? Um, mineral samples. Make some in your... Oh, okay. I think I've actually got to take this a little further. Mineral samples. I actually do have to craft. There we go. Um, indeed, we do need... Oh, <laughs> turns out I need a nutrient paste as well. So I'll just make, make one of them. And with mineral and DNA samples in your possession, you've opened up loads of research. Now you should make a xenobiology lab or fission furnace. Uh, that sounds like something for later. Uh, cool. We've done a lot. So I guess if we are going to produce all this sort of stuff, I do need to start planting and planting well. Oh, I need to hoe the bloody ground. Have I even got a hoe? Not in this character anymore. I think I might have slung it. Oh! Okay, that's probably a foraging table thing. For oh my god, I need so much stuff. Uh, I think I'm, all that stuff will be in my things up here. Okay, now I've hoed the ground this time. Oh my goodness. Wow. This is lighting the place up. Uh, huh. This is going to be very useful for all that genetic material and all that. Um, they grow to about this high. I could actually, in theory, add another layer. I think let's make full advantage of our size. Um, hmm, probably... Hmm, I might make it a bit ugly than I'd like. Uh, and just make it just literally just one layer of dirt. Like this. We may as well take out the torch. Um, and just for prettiness's sake, we'll do that. Well, she'll hoe. We will need to water everything. <laughs> Look at this. It's um, it's vertical upwards hoeing for the lads. Um, right, so let's finish planting like that. Hang on. Do they die? I'm sure I planted those before. Huh. Anyway, let's... Um, maybe it's dark. Maybe it needs darkness. Or, I don't know. Uh Right, let's just water. Oh, I've, I've literally got one bit of water. Uh, well, you can actually extract water from ice, but I don't think we've got any ice either. Um, we we'll definitely need a sprinkler system. You can actually make an overhead sprinkler in this game. 
I should just get some silk while I'm down. Oh, silk fibre. That keeps on rematerializing. I've already opened that twice. Uh, right, okay. Oh, actually, hang on. Can you actually use buckets of water? Because since we've got them all. I'm not sure if this if that's the way this actually works. But let's give it a go. Rather than just keeping on putting water. Yeah, there we go. Oh, dicks. That's how it works. All right. You actually, you actually cob it. It's not very, you don't very much. It's not actually, it's not watering it at all. Hmm. I don't think it's all, it doesn't always seem to work properly. If you throw it at a, it doesn't seem to work off a ceiling. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah. Unless I, can I do that? No, for some reason it doesn't work here. Most peculiar. Well, what I could always do is just grab all the water that's I've created and just do it the old-fashioned way. Like that. Yay! <laughs> Still hasn't completely done it. Yeah, well, we'll sort this out later. I and mean, it's good just to get started on the farm for now, though. Right, in the name of science, uh, I'm just going to do a bit more investigating with the extraction lab. I'm going to put the warts through here. Oh! Tissue? Oh, that, that's another source of tissue culture and all. Just not a very good one. Um, yeah, that was, um, that was yeah, negligible at best. Right, try the swamp dirt. Oxygen and nutrient paste. Again, very negligible, but... Huh, if you do... It is a good way of using up all these absolute dog dick that you actually pick up from these planets. This is producing genetic material. What is it again? This is the cell stuff. Those bog planets are bloody good sources of organic stuff. Let's try this plant matter. Again, some of this was left over from my banyan tree, but others... Actually, I think I got a lot of it from the bog as well. Now producing incredibly useful mulch and oxygen. Oh, this is actually very useful. A very useful source indeed. I really want to rearrange my lab. I need to put these... Um, I was literally going to, in real life, point at the screen there. That's probably not the best thing to do on a video. I really wanted to put some of the storage stuff in the better places, because at the moment I can't remember where I'm putting all this stuff. Cool, I'm getting lots of good stuff here. I also found a hive block. I'm underground on that one of those planets. I'm not quite sure why there was a hive biome there, but there was. And flower block? Genetic material. Yeah, I'm actually getting quite a lot of good stuff. Right, finally today, let's just finish off that fertilizer thing. Because I think we've been um, gathering everything. We've got the mesagnite and the sulfur from doing some mining. The magnesium came from... Oh, not magnesium. The, the methanol came from extracting from wood. And we had something else. Whatever. <laughs> So, I think I can actually do it now. Actually, no. First of all, we need to do a bit of exchange in Mart. Let's um, go over to Ammonium Sulfate. This is where the, what the um, Mesagnite is used for. Let's do shitloads of that. Was that the first time I did that? Oh, blimey. You need a fair amount of this. Um, yeah, it's all about making poo. Alright. So now, with any luck, um, let's go to materials available. There we go. Fertilizer. Um, needs quite a lot of those things to be honest that's quite a lot but we can only make one but we have learned to make it and it makes four bits of poo so that's good it's especially useful in a hydroponics um, tray and without fertilizer you'll have a tougher time making okay let's have a look down because they i'm not sure if they're well some of them are growing some of them aren't in fact none of them are growing <laughs> balls to them right quickly nip back to the outpost and finish off our quest and we should be set quite nicely for the next episode. Um, science outpost, there we are. Do, 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 do. And boom. Right, who wants my poo? Where are you? What was a new quest? Let's, do, let's ask what that is. Why not combine... Well, now you have a silicon and wire. Combine the two at matter assembly and craft a circuit board. Ah, that's good, because that is the last thing I need to make an armoury. Uh, good. So I, I, it was silicon and copper wire. That's that's good, um, because the armor is the ne one of the next things I actually wanted to make. But circuit boards I didn't know how to make, and now I do. Who's the poo lady? Poo lady. There you are. I assume it's a poo lady. I don't know. <laughs> All right. So now we can create more advanced chemicals and grow better crops. Oh, well, we might as well quickly nip back and make that gun cannon the armory thing, because that's what one of the quests is to make an arm cannon at the armory. And we won't actually make the arm cannon, we'll just see if we can actually do the armory. Uh, although I might actually not have the materials, so might not actually <laughs> finish this. 
Uh, oh, where where do I live? There he is. Da -da 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 -da. And so the armory will be made here. I'm starting to get to get used to all this stuff. Get rid of that, so we can actually see what I'm building. Armory, tungsten, silicon, copper wire, and circuit board. Huh, maybe that is something to wait for next time. Because yeah, there's a there's a few things I'll have to do, I guess. Um, okay, so we'll pick it up again in the next episode. We'll make an armory, and we'll also get more busy with some of the more exotic stuff about growing and things. So look forward to that. Um, I will, anyway. <laughs> uh, so subscribe for future episodes of this, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.